Hello everybody, my name is Ross and today I'm going to play some Dead Cells. Uh, this is one of my favorite games that I ever finished. I finished but not on this account particular that I have in right now of Steam. And at the time there were not so many updates, not so many DLCs and yeah I was thinking hey you know what maybe I'm gonna record it now that I got this game again um, and I can actually play it on a controller because I used to play it on a keyboard. Um, I love this game, I finished it to the like, I think final boss and then like a DLC came out and I did like one more boss and I didn't do that one. Um, this game is having like increasing difficulties and a bunch of stuff in it. So I'm not gonna be able to cover all of that. But basically this probably is gonna be like a first look at the game or something like, like a review for it or... If, but if you want me, you could try to like uh, do a guide on it or something. If I'm able to basically get back into it as well, because I'm playing the controller, which for me it's kind of harder, I think. Okay. So I need to remember, like, this is the jump and this is the... I kind of don't like having the dodge there. Because, like, I need to move, like, a finger to do that. I would like to have like down or something. I'm gonna probably try to change that, let's see. Oh, hi. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Oh yes, that's right. You have no tongue. Anyway, it must be strange to be back from the dead. I'm, uh, I mean, surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. You don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. So Okay, how do I change my weapon? Oh. Okay, it really it really feels odd to play this with a controller, so I'm gonna put it away. God dang it. I touched my microphone trying to put my controller away. Hey, anyway, hopefully it's gonna like let me try to turn it off as well. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Alright. Okay, yeah. Now, now. It feels much better. Okay. It's been some time, so I need to get a little use with it. What's my dodge? Uh, control? Why would you put my dodge on control? Oh, it's a shift. Okay, I was, I was confused for a moment. Okay, I got something. So basically, if you're new to this game, um, this is the universe of Dead Souls. Um, we are this guy that keep dying and dying, and we don't really die. Like if we die, we're gonna respawn. I have double jump. Why do I have double jump? Did I pick something up? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how was I able to check my inventory? I, I know I could do something like to be able to check for this anyway I forgot but anyway I know exactly why I have double jump I don't remember having double jump but maybe I, I just don't remember it it's fine no we have this ability as well wait no we don't but, oh yeah we do so I have the ability to stomp as well I don't want to like and okay here we go prison caller one cannot be sold cannot be sold okay this is my equipment so I don't know why let me see if I'm able to find why I don't know why like I have we have like two abilities that like they're included I, I don't know maybe I'm just retarded maybe they changed change the game too much and I don't remember I know also there are like secrets in the wall so sometimes when you hit like a wall you're gonna find stuff 
I mean, like this ability to stomp down it's like an ability we use to break through some stuff in one point anyway okay so the point of this is like to do like how fast you can like the map I guess okay and we need to find this type of scrolls okay um, so this is gonna increase my damage on life and stuff depends on what I pick usually I was picking um, to increase my life Okay. So this guy is selling things. I don't have enough money because I would buy this one because it's really good. Uh, I know I have a map. Oh, this is my map. Okay, so we have a map here. We need to explore all of this before we go. I usually like to explore everything so I can get the max loot I can out of these places. So yeah, the reason why like I finished this game basically and I wanted to do like. Uh, a video on of, it, of it because it's like really really good and other people actually played this game as well and recorded it and when it came out because it's it's really amazing to guys and I keep taking damage I don't think I have anything to heal myself with right now okay just lower a little bit my volume on the headphones Okay, so you notice probably the more clean like we do, we like the more enemies we kill basically we're getting coins. The coins are mostly for the loot that you can buy in this game. In this game are different weapons, different areas, different types of enemies. The enemies are gonna increase like in difficulty in time. If you really like this game or like if you're really interested in this game I like really recommend you to buy it because you definitely won't regret it okay so right now we're gonna try to take like kind of balanced I guess we're gonna want some brutality I guess some damage uh, I, I keep forgetting that you you jump on space but you also jump on W Okay, so now we can pass on the other map, but I don't want yet to do that because I have some other things to explore. There are some things like ba time based in these games. That as fast as you can complete like an area, you can get some bonuses and stuff. But that's not my main objective. Oh, I've, I've totally forgot about the grenade. Also, you have, like, you have like secondaries, items that you can use, which they're also good. Like playing this game a lot you're gonna end up like moving really fast through areas right now I feel like I'm really really slow but in one point you're gonna like if you keep playing and playing you're gonna be really really fast okay we found a chest usually in this chest we either find items and weapons better weapons maybe I don't use it I never use a shield uh, or we find enemies or other stuff in it which can actually be not that good sometimes okay this is gonna be later play when we're gonna have a different item okay so I cannot go in this area because I don't have this particular item okay so we just need to finish this map area and that's it basically this this uh, game is like the more you progress in it, the more you evolve and get your items and stuff. You're gonna get like some specific items that can unlock certain areas. And uh, after you get those, you can just like move on and get into new areas. Like meet new bosses, face new bosses, beat new bosses. Because yes, this game does have bosses. And they're pretty... I, they're not that hard, but they're pretty hard. And I don't know exactly what patches and modifications they did to this game, but... Maybe the bosses are even harder than before, so let's uh, leave this area and just go to the next area. So don't worry if you start this game playing and it's like you just die or something, because start playing this game basically and just die or don't get the time here like I didn't do it. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Well, look who it is. I'm the collector and I'm about, uh, about the closest thing you will find to a distant company around here. Bring me cells you gather from the others in exchange, I'll procure a few useful little items for you. 
if you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me and I'll introduce you to some more experimental items. Okay, I see. Yeah, so this is the guy which we can buy upgrades from, which is really nice. Because in time those upgrades are going to be really good. We can buy them with cells. So currently I bought a, f a health flask, which is like really good. You can also get the gold reserve one. When I die, basically I'm going to get some, some of my gold back. And I think next one I'm going to invest in the blood sword. So now if you look down in the like in, in the bottom, I'm gonna have like a flask, which is gonna heal me basically. Okay, this dude is selling you like mutations. You can just buy a mutation. Um, I'm just gonna read them because maybe they change them. So plus 184 DPS for eight seconds after killing an enemy. Okay, and this is a cooldown is kill by zero. Okay, this is like reduce the cooldown for the weapons I throw. Okay, this is on the purple basically, it's even having colors to show you. Also, this is on the red. This is cooldown on my... Okay, this is my sword basically. Okay. Okay, that's different I think from what it was... Dead inside. Okay, I remember that one. I remember that one as well. Okay, this is really good if you wanna... If you have a bow. Usually I use necromancy. And I use the other one for like bow or other projectiles that I have and I'm having. So yeah. Okay, this pile of course is probably me, I guess. Yep. Oh, yeah, because they are me. This is gonna usually re like uh, refill your flask basically, because we have a flask and when we drink we heal, but it's not gonna like re refill itself. So once you finish the area, you can refill it. If you play it on higher difficulty, you're probably not gonna be able to refill that. Okay, so we got an achievement. It's good. Oh, hi. Yep, these guys are tougher than before, right? Like, from the enemies before. Because these guys can teleport. Okay. Okay, I wanna do that jump because I know that it's something there. Okay, we're gonna try again. Okay, I did it. And I hear, I have here like uh, our first basically blueprint. So if you manage to get the blueprints, we're gonna get like new weapons and stuff. Okay. I knew that because I'm actually, like I said, I finished the game before, even though I didn't do it on this particular account. I had a different account at the time. Okay, so the shields or like the shields generator, you need to destroy them. If not, these guys are gonna get like a shield, which make them pretty, it makes them pretty OP because you cannot kill them. Also, you need to gather those cells. I just gathered one from that dude in order to make the upgrades. I usually recommend to play with the bow. I think it's better because like compared to the shield, where you can, I don't know, it's like like using a shield basically you're slower. In this game, you're aiming to be fast as possible. I mean, you can play it on your own style and be slow as you want, but I'm just, uh, I guess, advising you on this. Because, um, yeah, if you're slow, it's gonna get you in trouble. So. Okay, so we here, like, we need the, another ability that we don't have. Which is good, because I was, it's good, because I was scared in the beginning that, like, I'm having some abilities that I'm not supposed to have. This game was actually provided by me by Keymailer. If you don't know what Keymailer is, you can check it out. I have a video on my channel. Uh, it's basically, for short, it's a place where you can get free games. And they provided me this game. Okay, so this weapon is definitely stronger than what I have now, right? Yeah, it is. So I can use it now. Also, like, launches a charge or like a charge potion or something like this. <coughs> Uh, going back to the key mailer, basically they provided me this game and uh, you can teleport on this, right? Yeah, you can teleport, so I can teleport if I want to go back up. But let me see, do I have anything in here? No. So, um, yeah, they provided me with this game. It's free, which is really cool. And also, I'm promoting it, promoting it to you guys. <laughs> if you want to buy it, go ahead. It's a really good game. Okay, took damage from that. 
I'm not really used to what I used to do in the past basically, like being faster than what I am. Right now. The doors if you knock them like on enemies when they're like close to it, uh, basically you're gonna knock them out. You're gonna have like a time frame until they're gonna be back. If you have that type of potion I was using on them, when you go down, you're gonna freeze them. Okay, we need to take these guys out. Don't forget that I have necromancy, so basically if I take too much damage and I'm using... Um, if I'm attacking them, I'm gonna take HP. Which is really good. Especially earlier in the game when you don't want to use your flask that much, because you don't have an upgrade on the flask, because the flask can get get can get bigger if you do upgrades on it, of course. Okay, we found another upgrade. This is really important to find because, like, you if you wanted to survive the boss, obvious you want to need to do this, and you want to need to take that HP bonus. And usually, if you want to sacrifice your HP bonus, you're gonna get more damage or something else. Uh, this is for another ability that we don't have. Um, but yeah, it's important because if you want to get like to the boss and actually survive the boss, first boss you're gonna actually face, um, you'll need that. Okay, these towers are really good. I don't recommend, you could use the Kunai, but I don't recommend using the Kunai. I think the towers are really good because I'm gonna show you why in a moment when I find some enemies to fight, especially with the boss as well. Like, it's, it's really good. Okay, so I think this is a mini boss or something here. Yeah, probably yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this guy is a mini boss. I'm gonna use the tower on him. And we're gonna go close to him. Then we're gonna live, live. Oh, I just missed on that one, but don't worry about it. And we're gonna edit. Cool. And we pick up his stuff. Oh, this is this is the first power we're gonna have in this item and this in this journey. <laughs> Sorry for that. And this item, yes, that's that's one hundred percent what I was trying to say. So this is the first item we're gonna have. It's gonna make this tower, so we can say, so we can travel. So we're gonna find those runes you can name them, or those specific things that so many bosses drop them, um, in order for us to be able to unlock new areas and stuff. Okay, the shield is pretty powerful, as I mentioned before. We can freeze them in the water, because the water is gonna freeze as well, and then we can put them down. Okay, now we're gonna throw, throw one of those. I throw it to... I like, was in a was in a bad position, I throw it too bad, like I was trying to say. I thought it's really useful. Look at this. Because it's giving us also bleeding, like, let's try to open the menu. So here, if you go, like, on your equipment and everything, you have the status of them. Usually, for example, this one that I found inflicts a critical hit on third consecutive strike. So it's giving, like, a critical, which is giving plus 25 damage, 25% damage. Uh, launches a grenade with 22 damage, which that's, like, more damage to the critical. Also, this one is giving, like, 23 DPS, I think. It's, like... Damage per second basically is getting like 23 damage per second, like to 1.5 seconds basically. It's uh, fire spitting blades and nearby enemies inflicting bleeding, so it's giving like 12 more uh, damage per, uh, per per basically 1.5 seconds. So this is this dude is pretty strong and it's taking like minus minus 25% damage when you're near it. Ah, uh, take. Uh, I take. I, I think I take more. Take minus 25 damage when you're near it. Uh, I don't know if it's saying like I this is the first time when I see the status. I think they read it more recently. So I think it's referring them taking taking more. Okay, because I I, I think yes, because it's, it's not saying more or less, but it's take minus twenty five percent damage when you're near it, so yeah. I think class actually, I don't know. Cannot be sold, freeze at victims, I inflict 40 damage, 5 seconds. I cannot be sold because this is like a beginner bow. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna have my mutation there which is giving me a recover 0.25, 1, uh, 25, yeah, 1% 1 HP when an enemy dies, reduces your infection level when you kill a boss. Okay. 
So yeah, most of these are like statuses and things and they stuck up and stuff. Uh, so they, they're pretty good basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is another upgrade here. It's gonna be this type of upgrades and the other one you saw. So this one, it's only two of them. So that's why you need to be careful with what you're picking sometimes. Because if you find this type, like basically you cannot take green, which here you're kind of gonna lose like a bonus of life advantage. I'm gonna take damage on that one. A really nice thing and I was abusing here, it's freezing. Freezing is really good in this game. Uh, if you manage to get like some freezing to the point where you have like a... I think it's like... Like a... Glove or something like mid-range weapon, I forgot how it's named. Maybe I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna show you. Uh, that's like really powerful when it comes to freezing. Okay, these dudes are a little annoying to aim for. Okay, we need to take the shield down. Okay, I was trying to speak and I couldn't, let's see, yeah, the double jump at the beginning is useful so I think I had the double jump the entire time, uh, I just didn't remember for some reason, okay this guy is selling things but I really don't have the money, uh, this guy is gonna sell you things, usually they're pretty expensive, but they, it's, it's having some good things and it's important in some points of the game, like if you want to become Stronger we can say, and also you can teleport to things, so you can check this out, like, by, uh, check the minima basically where it is, so you can, like, once you get the money, you can teleport back to him. And explore that upper area there, and did I uh, explore, no, I didn't, just the upper area for some reason there. Maybe there was a little more for me to go, I don't know. I could go back, just taking a look at it. It's pretty close. I think I'm gonna try to to get to the first boss in this let's in this play let's play no let play through I don't know play through let's play whatever you want to call it like this review gameplay <laughs> I don't know okay this is a place where you can find maybe some stuff yep find some chicken but I'm not low HP so I don't need it okay so I don't know exactly if I'm gonna make a play like a playthrough or a let's play for this only if it's like necessary what people are requesting it as I play the game this is most like uh, currently for me feels like a review and a playthrough like trying to show you guys what you can do in this game so it's mostly depending on you guys if you want to see more of this if you want to see more I'm gonna do more <laughs> I recorded a few other episodes today and um, as I'm sick it's becoming li a little hard on my neck, my voice basically. If you get a third critic on this guy, this guy doesn't, they just go down, they don't stand a chance. Cause like the critical, oh yeah, if you fall from high, way too high up you kinda have like a you stop for a moment, you can have like a full damage thing. Yeah, that's it. If you're doing the falling like this, then you're not gonna have that. Oh, hi. Ouch, I took damage. I didn't took too much damage. I can regen it. Okay. Okay. I want to get how many cells I can so I can get upgrades and stuff. Because it's good. Like, usually we're trying to aiming for that because right now we're in the beginning. We're gonna take the HP bonus on this one. You also want to take you want to take that HP bonus because it's gonna increase your HP basically. Ouch! Um, and it's good, like it's really good when it comes to bosses and everything. Like you need to have a you, you don't really need to get one shot at basically. At least like until you learn the mechanic of the game, because there is a weapon which uh, which basically it's kind of gonna give you a curse. There is actually a curse system in this game, like if you're not careful you can take that and you're gonna die like in one shot basically. 
so yeah, the HP is gonna be use useless to you. Okay, this is another area where we need an ability to be able to travel through. So we're gonna just teleport back. The teleportation back is really useful because you don't need to go to the same area again. Back and forth and so on. Okay. I need to take the shield down. Ouch. Okay. Still have my flask on. But I still... Uh... Okay, this is a blueprint for another weapon which is great. I can still heal basically because I have my flask on. I'm trying to make not necessary to heal. Because I can heal by fighting these dudes. There's also a weapon that's giving you HP when you attack other people, which is good as well. Uh, and works pretty good with, of course, necromancy, because, yeah, like, you double healing, basically. I mean, you heal more, you don't double heal, but, yeah. Because necromancy doesn't give you that much HP, so, yeah. I think there is something I could do in this. Oh, I don't have the ability yet. Okay, see. Yeah, you need to go through areas until you unlock all the abilities you needed to go through other areas, so... That's, that's what it is. So let's go to the ramparts. This game is a little loud, so I hope I don't talk too loud. Because it's kind of hard to hear myself. Yeah, I didn't do any of those. I don't think I'm currently, like, upgraded enough to do that. Neither did, I don't have the skill I had. But I used to play this, like, daily. <laughs> I, I I was obsessed with this game, I'll be honest with you. It's, like, really good game, so I, like, played it. I don't, like... Uh, eight hours per day <laughs> or something like this uh, because I love it I don't know it's really good I could get the blueprint from the for the Spartan sandals but that's that means like I'm gonna get this part of sandals more often I kind of don't want to um, they definitely did new upgrades I kind of want to invest in some things uh, that are actually good which is my flask one of the, the greatest things that I'm gonna need in a late game because I'm gonna need to heal, of course. Oh, hi. Uh, do I want to replace my current one? Um, the critical on my two, like, twins are, like, it's insane. Um, I, but I could take this one because it's giving bleeding. And it's uh, actually faster than the other one. And also it shots up that arrow. Which could be a good combo. And I'm just gonna take it so I can, like, I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, we can get another mutation. I think three or two mutation is the limit mutations at least was the limit before so we're gonna get, get this one because I'm using a bow currently and also it works good with other things I'm gonna recharge my flask even though it's not needed but it's gonna restore my HP as well which is good so yeah let's keep on going for the ramparts here I think after the ramparts after this area it's the next like uh, it's gonna be the boss the first boss from what I remember uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be the first boss and then end this episode there. I normally didn't meant to do this episode so long. I was like going to do like a review on it. But I decided in the middle that I kind of want to do... If I don't die, of course, I kind of want to do the boss. Oh hi, this is a mini boss. Okay. That's a strat side I recommend using, using the tower. I got another artifact which is fast. I don't remember I get it at this level. But I don't know. Customization drone. This permanent drone unlocks the custom mode. Okay, see. Uh, I didn't know you get those through runes, which is interesting. Okay. So, like, a lot of things has been changed since I played last time. So. Okay, died. I I managed to do that. Okay. So don't judge me on that. It's gonna be a little hard for me to get back into it. Oh, that those dudes are. Yep. Uh, I think I'm gonna die actually. <laughs> as I remember, this this map was particularly difficult for me as well. <laughs> so yeah, I might die.
Okay. I might need to heal soon. If I keep it like that. Can I go down like... Nope. Why ah, yeah, like this. Keep, keep forgetting I need to press actually space. Okay. Nice, I got some food. Ouch. Forgot you can attack the walls. Okay. I got a nice infantry bow blueprint, which is good. That dude is annoying, so we need to take him down. Okay, I'm really glad I took the sword because, like, that, like, shooting upwards, it's really good against these dudes that, like, they keep flying at me. Whew. Okay, this, this, I remember this being a little bigger than the other ones. Uh, okay, I have another upgrade here, which is good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually do the first boss now I'm thinking of. We're gonna take the HP one, uh, so it's like helping with, uh, I think life, life is gonna increase more if I take the HP one on green, because like this one's on green, so yeah, it's like 0 0.23 now. So that's like Necromancy, it's really good if you increase it, to be honest, if you manage to do that. Okay. It didn't work too well for me. Okay, so I can go to the Black Bridge. I think the Black Bridge is the first boss. So I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna explore further because I might die. Let me see. Do I want to explore further? I know that like usually ramp ramparts is pretty... I I'm gonna try. But if I'm close to death or if I feel like I'm gonna die, I'm gonna teleport back here. I'm just gonna go for it. I think the Black Bridge, it's like the first boss for sure. took one hit there yeah usually you need to explore because you need more you need more upgrades basically so that's it okay the HP bonus it's again on this one so I'm gonna take green one more time I just need to get like my skill back where I'm able to actually dodge like incoming projectiles for my archers and stuff or even for the dudes that, like trying to shoot me because like in one point I was like really good at dodging those but in time you're gonna kind of like lose that if you don't play Okay, I took damage on that. I panicked for a moment. Ouch. Ouch, that's bad. Okay, I'm a heal. Okay. Hi, you're new. You're dead. Okay, that's an elite dude. It's pretty strong. Okay, that dude is dead. I'm gonna teleport back up. Okay, so they added new enemies as well, which is nice, because I could play this game again, <laughs> if that's the case, on my own or recording it. Okay. Okay, I could dodge under, I totally forgot. I totally forgot that I can dodge like, like this and just like wait and the arrow is gonna go above my head. This is bad. Okay. I need to take this guy out. Okay, let's regen some HP. And I'm gonna take this one, which is gonna be purple. It's gonna be my bow, basically. Oh, I actually the HP was on red. Okay, my bad. Okay, so you can do also this. Which is great. Okay, I cannot do that anymore. I think at one point you were able like, to shoot through that and just damage the other dudes, which was illegal, but was I, be, I think it's been patched. Okay, damage from projects reduced by minus 75, downward smash attacks. Oh, nice, that's nice, that's nice, that's really nice. Because now they're gonna take fire damage if I do that. Which is gonna be increasing more damage than I'm like, giving to them. Okay, good. We got another other upgrade, so I don't regret coming here exploring more. Because probably the boss is gonna kick my ass if I don't do that. Okay, we don't have a teleporter where I can see, so we need to go on the surface. I think we can probably go a little more through here. 
Just need to be careful not to fall down. Also, on the tower, the cooldown is not so big. I could use it more at my advantage, but I don't because I don't know why. I don't think I'm used anymore to use it. So this guy is like burning things. So I could use this on him. Just not be close to him. Okay, I didn't, I didn't fall down, which is good. I have another TP here. Push a little forward, I guess. Nice because when you hit them first time, like it, they you, you have like a like a knockback on them. Another upgrade. I think we need to turn, take the red one. <coughs> Bonus damage. I will have even more damage, which is great. I think this might be close to the edge of the map. I'm not gonna go down yet. I'm gonna probably go a little downwards just to check stuff. Okay, that guy died. It's a pretty clean, I guess, way. <laughs> like we can we clean them pretty fast. Okay, so down there it's a dude that's gonna be able to sell me stuff. Uh, I don't know if they increase the size of this. I don't remember to be being that long. Okay, my dude. Hello. I need this tower here because I'm gonna use two towers against whatever is gonna come for me. So. Yeah, but can I use it like replace the other one? Because I maybe don't want this one. Okay, but can I use this one? No? Oh, so it doesn't let me have two anymore? Because I know I had two in one point. Oh, weird! Obviously, I don't want that one. I want this one because it's like twice as good the other one. Like, look at this. It's, um... 46 and plus 50 damage and bleeding 23 and shot leaves a trail of oh shots leaves leave a trail of flames okay that's cool um, but I I used to have two towers like for some reason it doesn't let me change it but it's fine maybe it's some upgrade or something that l lets me do that and I don't remember exactly and take HP on green okay we're back on full HP as well. Okay, this is like a secret thing. Yeah, in this game it's actually it's having a little bit of lore and stuff. Okay, and it's yeah, these guys are giving you food if you annoy them. Okay, this this idea I cannot travel through here because I don't have what I need to have in order to do that. I don't have an item, it's missing. And normally, like I said, if I wouldn't finish the game, I wouldn't know that. But I did finish the game, so I knew kind of almost everything except what was added with the patches okay and I remember these guys could be able to take so much knockdown from the bow but that's cool okay that guy is protected I'm gonna use my little boy here took some damage but hey it's fine okay we can still push a little forward through here but let's go down first okay it's just a small area okay go down go up I mean go down okay this is the end of the map pretty sure okay let's go back I mean it's a secret there but I'm not I'm not having the skill or the ability to do what I need to do in order to get the secret so it's fine let's DP out of here so I explored here uh, I didn't explore here and I didn't explore here I think here it's a door that's closed which I cannot I don't think I can explore but we're gonna go here we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go for the boss we're gonna do the other thing as well just to check if it's anything that I need to explore and if not we're gonna do the boss Okay, that's not it. Oh, this area is closed as well. Okay. Uh, it's closed because we don't have the item that we need to do what we need to do. So let's go to the other one. 
This one was based on time. So if you got hit on time. I think. No, it's it's not that door. Okay, so this area we can explore. I'm sure how big it is. Okay, this opens the door. Okay. That's some uh, gold. I still don't have enough gold to buy what I wanted to buy. Took the arrow, but hey. Also, we can dodge in the air. I totally forgot about that. Which is useful. Okay, here's the chest. That's nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is something that I was looking for. Uh, this in the past didn't, didn't used to have like ammo or anything, but now it's having like four charges. Um, I think they nerfed it down a lot because it was this is like a, like a really OP like a OP item basically, a really powerful item. It's like basically freezing everything in its way, and it's also dealing damage. I think. Let me let me double check. Um, oh, um, armor mutation doesn't apply to this item. Okay, so they nerfed it down. In the past, it used to apply to this weapon as well. Plus 60 damage. I think I'm gonna stick. Should I stick with my bow? It's low damage as well. Oh, god damn it. Let me let me decide. Let's see. So, freeze enemies in front of you. Uh, no damage if the target is already frozen. I see it's giving us 126 plus 50 damage. It's kind of kind of the same with my bow. Only my bow is having more ammo and longer longer range. But I used to use this, and if I can show you in a moment, I'm gonna show you why. Because it's pretty broken. I mean, they patch it now pretty obviously, but in the past it was not like that and it was broken as hell. And also you could use it against bosses and stuff. Um, so I don't think I can show you in this map, but I need to go for the boss anyway. So probably gonna show you on the boss if I'm able to do it. Uh, which I don't like the, the fact that I have, a, I have a grenade for the boss and not two towers. But hey, let's go for it. I don't know how many cells I have. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to beat the first boss, but we're gonna try. Well, look who's here. Okay, we're gonna have support and critical. This one is pretty good. Okay, so let's try to do the flask too. Perfect. And then we're gonna invest in the... I think recycling would be nice. Because it's allowing us to recycle items for gold, which we can basically buy other items with. Mutation. Okay, so I can take one more mutation. I think it was two in the past. Now I can have three of them. Which I could just... Can I reset my mutation? It's 1000 gold. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Because I wanna... I wanna like replace the ammo. Because it doesn't work on my thing. I'll take ne necromancy. Um, then we're gonna take... Let's see, this is on purple. Um, my weapon cost is green and purple as well, so I could take that. I think this one is good, and uh, this one as well. So I could use three mutation, which is good, because in the past, probably... Ah, sorry for that. My just hit my mic, scratching my mustache. <laughs> okay, so basically in the past you had like just... Um, you have just one. No, you have just two, sorry for that. So you, you could have three of them, you could have just only two mutation, now I think you have only three. Because if it's giving you all the mutation, you're gonna like unlock more mutation in time. And um, that's gonna be kinda, kinda... Kind of overpowered, sad, but overpowered. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is why. Okay, this guy is having a shield now. I totally forgot how to how to fight against this dude. I'm I'm getting it back, I guess. Okay, he's doing that shitty attack. Now I think he's gonna do that thing, and then he's gonna do yeah fire. I have two more flasks, which is not bad. I know why I was so close to him. But yeah. Ok, 
Okay. Let's heal. Okay, I did the f the the boss it was kind of shitty for me. It didn't feel like the the fight I mean, cause I uh, I'm not used to like fight him anymore or, or like play against him anymore. So I was like, yeah, what it was what it was. Okay, now I have flint. I don't know exactly what is that. I never had it before. I found another rune, which is gonna give us some stuff. The traps could be useful against this particular boss, cause he's jumping around and you can trap him. And is this one and I'm gonna take it replacing the ice grenade because it's pretty pretty broken like basically you throw this too enemy's gonna get dropped in it and then you're gonna be like <laughs> or just like <laughs> yeah so it's pretty broken uh, but hey we're gonna go to the next area and we're gonna end this episode here and I don't think this game saves I don't remember but hey I think I'm gonna take the updates before I go so, oh this is the new dude and this guy it's like you need to upgrade a bunch of cells. Maybe they nerf it down, I don't know. Oh, it's still 500. Yeah, so I'm gonna invest them anyway. So this is like, once you get to it, like it's in increasing the item spawn will be off plus quality. Basically, it's increasing the quality of the items you're finding. It's gonna be better items, basically. Okay, this dude is having new stuff now. It's having the flint. Uh, hold the attack to inflict a critical hit and create flaming trail dealing 120 damage, 122, 120 damage, 120 damage, okay, my bad, okay. Okay, yeah, we cannot get other mutation, like I said, we can have only three. Mutation, mutation. So we can go here, but we can go down also. Do I want to go slit village or do I want to go down? Oh, I can actually, okay. Oh yeah, I need an ability actually to go there. Okay, I see. I don't remember exactly if this game is saving progress. But I think it's gonna give me to this new area, like here if I'm gonna leave. Those guys are pretty strong as well. Also when they die, they like spawn the other dudes and these guys are strong as well. Okay, I was just showing you basically how broken this item is. Because you can do this. Okay, and I took them, <laughs> took a lot of damage because I didn't like, like forgot the charging nerf down now. Like in the past it didn't have any charges, you could just spawn that shit all like all over and then it, they put charges on it but you could add the mutation which give you a bunch of ammo and it would give you ammo for it. So you had like 20 charges basically so you could just spam it. Anyway, yeah this is Dead Souls, this is the episode, the first episode I do on it or like review gameplay whatever you want to take for it, like play through. Uh, if you want to learn more about this game, I already finished the game so probably I'm gonna make, yeah probably it's gonna be named playthrough. Uh, if you want more tips, hints and stuff about this game, we could try to finish it together and I'm gonna teach you uh, more stuff about it and more stuff I know, like about the bosses as well. Even though I didn't say anything about this particular boss, I think because mostly for me it was a lame fight, I couldn't dodge too many things because I was like, I didn't fight him in a while and I didn't know exactly what I was doing anymore. So you only, all you can do against the, that boss, like if you have traps and like throws something to freeze him, you can just like trap and freeze him and then you just stay behind him pressing shift and once he's doing his uh, like blood ray thing you just avoid that stay behind like stay behind your tower is gonna give him damage as well um, yeah like tower as well tower traps and the frost thing is the best against him I guess actually every boss like that's the kind of the best almost every boss because only some of the bosses the bosses they cannot get trapped uh, but yeah overall that was the the boss it's not that hard, it's like the only the first boss, the other one's increasing the difficulty, especially the like last boss, it's really hard. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to check more Let's Play from my channel, don't forget about to subscribe and turn on the notification about the support basically, leave your feedback and let me know what games, what other games you want me to play, 
Uh, go check more videos from me. I have other videos than Let's Play on this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.